Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Little Big Workshop! Alright, as always, let's start out by reading a little description from the store page. Imagine a magical factory appearing right in your living room. Carefully planned masterpiece where diligent workers throw together anything customers want. Rubber ducks and dressers, drones and electric guitars, scooters and other wonderful goods can be created from many different materials and sold for hard cash. Cash you invest right back into your factory to get more machines, more workers, and grow your business. In Little Big Workshop, you become our factory tycoon. Alright, sounds interesting. Seems like this might be more of a sandbox game. I honestly don't know too much about this game. I pretty much saw it on Steam. It came up under my recommended based on it being a simulation strategy builder colony type of game. So I figured, you know what? Let's give it a shot. So let's just get started, shall we? New game, new factory, what shall we call it? Uh, the... How about just the little, little big factory? Sure, the little big factory. Alright, here we go! Oh, cinematic! Alright, what do we got here? Blueprints? Oh, is this our factory? Oh! What? All oh, little workers! Camera movement. WASD, right click. Oh, okay. Hey, what? Wait, so what? Oh, we're like on a desk? Oh, okay. Hello there, I just opened a new shop close to your factory, and seeing as you are new here, maybe we could help each other out. Get yourself a workbench and take a look around. I'll call again in a bit. Who are you? What is your name? Purchase your first workstation from the shop. Okay. We got basic, we got workbenches and utility. What a working station. You gotta start somewhere, and that somewhere is with manual labor. Workstations you own determine what factor you can produce. Alright, so shop item placement. Choose where to place the selected shop item. You shift plus click to place several of the same type. Press R to rotate the item before placement. Hold control for free placement. Wait, control for free placement? I don't get it. looks like it still snaps it to grid. Oh, I, I see. It kind of snaps it to the side, maybe? Alright, so let's... How about we just do it? Oh god, should we center it? Let's center it. So what is this? Uh, accept the order to have your work new workstation delivered. Okay. Order! Cost 2,475 gold. Order workstations take a while to deliver and install. Oh my god, is that the truck? Oh, it's so cute! This is adorable. Burp, burp. Truck arrived at the loading bay. What do I do? Oh my god, who's this guy? Is his name Vinny? I feel like his name is Vinny. Vinny! Vinny, where are you going? Get my package. There you go. Lift with your legs. Not your back. Who's this worker? Why aren't you inside? Is he gonna build it for us? Do we have to build it? Yeah, we have to build it, don't we? How do I build it? How do I build it? Can I speed this up? I can. Oh. Just building automatically. Nice. What is this? Idle operators. We have two idle operators. You got yourself a workbench, I see. My stock of garden gnomes are getting pretty low. Can you make me a couple? Plan on how the production should be done. We have 49 days, 23 hours to deliver three garden gnomes. And what is this? Project overview will lock, will unlock as the tutorial progresses. Activate overdrive mode, making the workstation operate 50% faster, but at double the strain. Oh. This is the planning mode. Here you can design and preview how each of your products will be created. Got it. Square shaped nodes like these are products or parts. They can be anything from small wood planks to complex sub assemblies. Okay, so square part, squares are parts. Circle shaped nodes like these are operations. 
These are actions performed by your workers on different kinds of workstations. Oh, so there's going to be what? Three wood logs at a woodworking station? This is your final product based on your current plan. Oh, that's so awesome. Operation nodes need a workstation and carry them out. Oh, so we right click it. We link operation to workstation. Oh, so then we link the plan to a very specific bench. I got it. Currently linked to woodworking station 25%. Not sure what the 25% means. It takes two hours for one gnome. So we need three logs to make one gnome. Put your plan into action. Amount makes three. Import to auto. Ready for production. Oh, wow. You can actually save plans. That's awesome. All right. Execute. Go. The materials needed for your project are on the way. Oh, here's Vinny. Is that you, Vinny? All right. Truck arrived at the loading bay. Oh, there's Vinny. Where's he going? It's in the back. Wait, who drove this if you came out of the back? Designate a storage area for your materials. Oh, how about, can we do it outside? We can't do it outside. How about just this back wall? There you go, storage, right there. Keep track of the progress here. All right. Hey, hey, unload it. Thanks. So what's what's this new worker doing? Use these controls to speed up time. Oh, there you go. Oh my God, they talk weird too. Oh, so this is where pickups and drop-offs are. Got it. So you're just gonna do nothing over here? Can I get another workbench? What is this break room? Decoration. Oh, there's decorations. Oh, I can't even build another workbench or woodworking station. Oh man. Well, let's speed up time then. Get three gnomes going. All right. Deliver your finished products. Put it down. There you go. Truck is in route. Oh, who's this? It's his brother Marv. Customer's picking up the products. Oh, and looks like we help load it up too. It's pretty nifty. Access your economy summary to make sure you made money. Hi, Steve. Oh, his name's Steve. Where's my name, Steve? What? After this introduction, workers will start to charge you for their time. What? We gotta manage their salary. So we made $3,100, $18 for the wood. Estimated payments received thirty-one fifty. Oh, got it. Thirty-one fifty cost eighteen for the materials. Nice. New inventory. Oh, the workbench. Yeah, that's right. It cost twenty-five hundred. So we made six fifty-seven today. Cool. I just got the shipment of carved wood gnomes. They look amazing. People are ready, already eyeing them as they get unloaded. I hope we can keep this partnership running. All right. All right. I'm answering. Hi again, the new gnomes are a hit, and I want to put more of them up for sale. Can you make more shelves I can use for that? All right, now we're making shelves. So what does this cost? Whoa. All right, attributes define the quality of the product. What? This contract has attribute requirements. Attributes are determined by the parts and materials used. Uh, excuse me? Choices with a red background are impossible to match requirements with your current setup either make other selections elsewhere in the plan to make this selection possible or choose something with a clear background so this shelf won't work with this for some reason well wait why did that let me do it then so let me do that but it didn't well, I'm confused. Shelf support C. It's letting me click it though. Select the material to make this product from. So we could do bright wood, dark wood. So wait, why can we select these if they're red? I don't get it. Follow the checklist to complete the plan and approve it. Choose materials, okay. Raw wood. 
Okay, match target attributes. How do we do that? So we have two durability and we only have six style. We need 10 style total. So we can't select any of this. Need a workstation for this. So I'm guessing I can't use, I'm guessing I have to use this. Oh, here we go. So I guess we go this one. Oh, that made it work. So I'm still confused. Why can I select this? But then I can't select this plan. Choose an operation for this. Choose an operation type for this part of the construction. Oh, it's the type of jigsaw cut we're doing. I got it. Okay, so if I do one above, I guess I could do this just to barely meet the requirements and not make it cost more money. So we'll do that. Also do that there. I guess we just link them all to the same one. Purchase a workstation can, that can perform this operation. How do I go back? Planning mode, here we go. And assembly station. No, that can't be it. Is it? Does that actually have a saw on it? Can't tell if that has a saw. Order. I want to say that has a saw. Enter planning mode. And then we're going to link it. Whoop. Takes one hour. We will get... Two durability, 10 style. Nice. And we need how many? Follow the checklist, link workstations. Oh. Oh, we can't link it yet because it's not built. So let's wait for the truck to get here. Boop, boop. Yeah, build it, build it, build it. I, I don't see a saw there. Where is there a saw? You lie. All right, well, I guess that works. Link workstation. I did. I did. Did I not? Hello? Oh, there we go. Execute. All right. Let's see how this works. Oh, come on. You need coffee. One of your workers ran out and energy collapsed. Oh, my God. Face first, right in the street. Right in the street. Uh, break rooms let workers recover faster. Coffee maker 2000. Fill your caffeine needs. Uh, let's have the break room right out in front. Room needs to be empty or already contain break room items. Oh. So break room separate, huh? There you go. Order that. Place more items in your break room to increase the break point recovery rate. And a Vendertron. All right. You guys are needy, aren't you? What else do you guys want? You want a pool table? I feel like you guys want a pool table, too. Maybe a ping pong table? Oh my god, we actually can get him a foosball table. All right, let's speed up the work. Oh my god, you're just laying dead? How are you not run over by the truck? Vinny, my boy! Wait, that's not Vinny. That's someone else. Oh my god, they're so adorable. Hey, wake up. Go get your coffee. Oh, there's Vinny. There's Vinny. Delivering the Vendatron. Hey, wake up. Lady. Wake up. Nope, oh, okay. So what do we got? Breakpoint recovery is 14 days. Max breakpoint capacity is 7. Workers on the way to relax. Oh, you got, you're dead. You just got run over. Idle workers. Why does it say we have two? We don't have two idle workers. I really need you to wake up, please. 
Decorations, zones, loading bays, market. What else am I missing? Room, effect lens, what? What does that do? Whole lot of nothing. All right, now we're getting a table. Can can you please wake up? Okay. Okay. It's like she can hear me. Hey you! Wake up! Okay. Alright, let's speed up time. This is gonna take a while to construct. So we're 31% on making one shelf. Oh lord, this is gonna take a bit. This is gonna take a bit. Okay, so now we don't have idle workers. Is there a way to check the workers' stats? Workstation priority lens. Okay. Pair state lens. Obstruction lens. Okay, no obstructions. Factory level one. Our break room's at a level of seven, apparently. Do what? Planning mode. You haven't created your first plan yet. To create a new plan, you should enter the market and find a contract that you like or use the drop-down list at the top of the worksheet on the right side of this view. The market, you'll be able to start planning using the Create Plan button. Hence, if you've taken a contract already, use the Create Plan button on the widget up to the right of your screen. Oh, we can't even do anything yet. Got it. Gotta finish the tutorial. Oh, Lord. This is taking way too... Oh, there you go. Look at that teamwork. So what are you doing? You're cutting... You're cutting the shelves, and what are you doing? You're hitting it with your head. Alright. Oh, maybe you, you put the... The little braces on? The legs? Wait, two idle workers. Why are you idle? Get back to work. Samantha Martin. What's this other one called? How, how do I... Can I click you? I want to click you. Oh. Wait, why can't we do anything else? Activate overdrive mode. Complete the contracts. I'm trying to. Go work. Okay, you're relaxing. That's fine. Oh, I guess there's nothing else to do. There's only one thing to do. There we go. Deliver. Deliver it. Do what? Do what? Do what? I just got the shipment of shelves. Wait, what? I got the shipment of shelf 8DM. They look amazing. People are already eyeing them as they get unloaded. I hope we can keep this partnership running. We got $2,500 and a 930 experience. All right, I'll answer. Gnomes and shells, I reckon that I'm set for a while. I'll get back to you later if something new comes up. Meanwhile, you should check the market. There are lots of other folks around here that need all kinds of supplies. Laters. All right, so that's what I was just looking at. Okay, can I actually move this? Oh, we gotta look at the mark. Oh, wow. This is general market products here are requested continuously and you can use this as a stable source of income. Choose an appropriate market offer. These tags give you a rough idea of what kind of production that is required. So it looks like we need mass production, small project size, and it needs plastic. How does it need mass production and it's a small project? Maybe we need to make like 50 things, but it's like a one-step thing? Small play kit with a shovel and a bucket. Good for teaching engineering skills to children at a young age. Got it. This shows the current price and demand of the product. Uh, so demand and price. So low demand, but a high price. What? These are attributes you must surpass for your production to be accepted. So we need six durability, six style. Overall, this project isn't very suitable. It's got a low demand, average price, and requires a plastics workstation that you don't own yet. Okay, makes sense. This product is quite simple to produce, has a high demand, and pay is decent. 
much better option than the previous one. Somebody. Somebody. Needs one durability, four style, plan product. All right. Let's see, we got raw wood and let's link it to this workstation. And that makes four wood planks, eight DM. What does that mean? Wood plank, eight DM. I honestly don't know what that means. Maybe it's just the style of wood. So then it needs, the target is one and four, which now we're at two and seven. I guess we go again with whatever's cheapest, right? They're the same. And now it comes from the same wood. Yeah, let's go one and four. And then we construct it right there. And that's making the doghouse. How many do we need to make? We need to make deliverable 65. What? Uh, what? How many do I need to make here? There's no way I have to make 65. Let's just make like five. No, not 485 and 58. What am I talking about? Let's do five. I can't execute. Complete the plan to be able to execute. What? Link it. There you go. Set the target. Oh, it's telling me what to set it to. There we go. And finish the planning and start production. Let's go. Tuta. Inspect your workstation by right clicking on it. Jobs are going to take a really long time to finish. Order another assembly station. All right. Choose where to place. Okay, we already know that. Is it possible for me to move a workstation? Because had I known that, I wouldn't have centered them. All right, let's... I guess we just put this centered back here then. At least like that works out. There we go. Inspect your workstation by right clicking. Split the queued item into two. Oh! How do we do that? Oh, split this entry. So we're making a doghouse and it's split between two. I got it. Wait, I thought we were making seven. Transfer one of these jobs to the new workstation. Ooh. Or I guess maybe this is the current operation and then we had six more in queue. I got it. We also need to hire more workers. There we go. Samantha Martin, Megan Murphy. Hire one operator. Recruit. And what is this? Who's this? What is this? Oh, we can't recruit that yet. All right. Complete the project. Let's go. Okay, you just dropped out of the sky. Uh-oh. We need our new workstation. Is there really no way to move this? Let me check. I'm guessing we could sell the workstation right here. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can. Oh, 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 we can't. Cool. Here, let me move that there. And then here, let me move it again. Actually, oh, I don't think it could fit because of the door. Actually, you know what we could do? Something like that. Actually, what we can do. Never mind. Take this. Let's move this over here. And this will come over here. Okay, there you go. And then now we move this one over there. There we go. All right, much better, much better. Can I build anything else? Doesn't look like it. Very relevant. I don't know if this game is just, if this game has like a Christmas update, and that's why this game looks like this. Oh, another phone call. It's a disaster. Gnome you made for me already sold out and I need more now. I'll pay you anything. Okay, give me a million bucks. Two days. How long do we have on this? Oh, I guess this is just a market. I guess we don't have a time limit on this. Let's plan the product. 
Right, so we got wood, which is being carved into gnomes. There you go. Uh, execute, just six. Yep, just want six. This project needs to be prioritized. Hover over the tracker and click the priority button. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Truck arrived. We need more wood. Yeah, drink that coffee. Drink that espresso. So th these workers not sleep. They don't go home. Ooh, what they got to eat? What they got to eat? Nutter butters? Y'all got nutter butters in there? I can't read that. It looks like nuts and nutter butters. Maybe some Doritos. Not very healthy choices, I gotta say. Oh, we already finished our gnomes. All right, let's deliver them. There you go. I just got the shipment of carved wood gnomes. They look amazing. Hope we can keep this partnership running. Nice. You can check your relation with your customers here. Wow, we have customer relations. Crazy Steve Enterprises. Keywords, cheap, small orders, random, crazy. So he likes cheap, small things. There's a cock cocky fellow that runs a flea market industry and wants all kinds of wacky products for his various customers. He's an acquaintance. As you build a reputation with customers, they become more friendly, pay better, and request production from you more frequently. You can switch and see different clients with these tabs. Oh. All right. Pretty neat. These products are ready to be sold to the general market. Open the market offer. Request the pickup for all your products. Com complete. Sell some products to s complete some products to sell here. Got it. Got it. Got it. Inspect your workstation by right clicking on it. Server this workstation by clicking this button. So what is this? Indicates the workstation could use repairing since efficiency is down to 75%. All right, let's repair it. Your career goals and progress here. Help section contains more detailed information. Certificate, the little big factory. Deliver more than 100 products, complete at least three client challenges, execute a plan with a billboard link to it, reach factory level five. So deliver 100 products, complete at least three client challenges. Can I repair anything else? Doesn't look like it. So now we have, so we're delivering that contract. So let's open research and development. Okay, what is this? We got a research tree. This section will use the upgrade and improve your factory. Each upgrade may cost varying amounts of upgrade points. These are earned by delivering contracts or by completing challenges and milestones. Simply point on an upgrade to read more about it and then click it if you'd like to purchase it. Got it. So what is this? Billboards are used to link workstations together. This allows you to control and assign jobs to them as a group rather than individually. Aha. Storage man management. Improve your logistics by using special zones throughout your factory. Ooh, that could be interesting to use. Because this seems kind of like a little nicety to have, which this seems like a whole new function. Unlocks expert and workstation zones. Export and workstation zones. Ooh, interesting. I can't believe this game has upgrade trees. Got workers. I still don't know what... What is this? Higher selected amount of workers. I don't know what that is, though. Oh! These are workers. These are, like, delivery people, I think. Inventory. This inventory keeps track of all parts, products, and machines that are currently within your factory. Got it. Break room stuff, decoration items, resources. There's our clients. Oh, <laughs> this is, I guess, our little... The little big factory. That's us. I guess this is just like a little leaderboard that's made up in-game. So I guess let's look at another market. Oh, wow, look, we can make a little... What's the smiley face mean? Recommend it. Oh, so it's like helping you guide you. We don't have metal, though, right? Wood and metal. Yeah, we don't have that. Oh, look, we got, like, everything unlocked now. We have 18,000 coins. Metal working station injection press. That's for plastic? Hot plastic into a cast. Sewing station. Small foundry. 
Casting 10 Soldiers, Paint Station. Then we got a small shelf, a large shelf, efficient storage, and a scrap container. We already have a scrap container. Uh, got a radio, chessboard, foosball table, game console, television. Oh, here we go. Let's get a fridge for the folks. Let's get a fridge for them. So that way they can bring in lunches. Pack their lunches. Yeah, they can't survive on coffee and snacks. There you go. Now you guys have a fridge. Although, don't leave it open. What are you guys doing? Close the fridge. All right. I have to smack some shape into these workers. They don't know how to close the fridge. But I am having a ton of fun with this game. So I think we are definitely going to continue with this. And then on the next episode, I guess we will look into... I guess just everything. We'll definitely hit up research. We do have a research point. I'll probably hit up this storage management. See what zones look like. And then we'll just go for it in the market. See where we progress from here. So take it easy, everyone.